Beverly D. Beauty, and I'm Beverly D. and this is Pete, and we're going to cut his hair today. So I want to take you through the process in which I do hair, and why men spend actually sixty to a hundred dollars with me instead of twenty. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, it, there is a difference, you know. Hair matters, and what you use matters. In fact, I just watched the movie Food Matters, and I mean, that's kind of how I live my life. So what you put on your hair, what you put on your body, what you put in your body, for me, that's how I live. And I see the differences with people, and because I've done so much hair in my life, I really see what, when people are using, like I can see when people have a too acidic diet, and acid means you eat a lot of meat, a lot of sugar, you drink a lot of alcohol, uh, cooked food, that's acidic food, not tomatoes. Tomatoes are alkaline until they're cooked, then they're acid. But I can see what it does to hair, it makes the hair skinny and thinner instead of fuller and thicker. Like I already see those kinds of things when I do hair. And with product, I see like, because we've gone through this chemical revolution of using, utilizing petroleum products, I've seen that it suffocates hair and then it dries the hair out actually. So, you know, like you're buying Pantene and you're buying all these products that really make the hair look good. Like they do, you, put, you wash it and then you put the conditioners on, but in the long-term use of them, You'll, you will start to dry out your hair, even though they promise conditioning. Because well, how they're conditioning is they're like waxing your hair. It's like waxing a floor. They're coating it, and that's where the suffocation comes, and that's when the flaky scalps come. And so you get put into a vicious circle of flaky scalps, and then you gotta buy head and shoulders, which is all owned by the same companies. <laughs> You know, so you're using, you're, so you're putting plastic on and your hair feels really great and then you're putting on, then you say, oh, my scalp is flaky. Well, it's flaky because you have all this plastic and wax on your scalp and it's starting to come off. So then you get head and shoulders to get it all off again and then head and shoulders dries your hair out so then you go back to the plastic. And it's just a vicious circle that people live in. And also with hairdressing, I saw that vicious circle with layering hair. I think really short layers on hair is great for men. It's a men's look. But in the 70s, we incorporated it into our shag haircuts. And what that set women up for, and I know, Pete, you really want to know this. <laughs> I, know, I, I am part woman. <laughs> Hear me roar. Oh, yes, it's the pink smock. Yes, it's it. It's bringing out my feminine side. I'm so glad you have a sense of humor. I do. Um, but... Women were layering their hair, layering their hair, and then it was too flat, and it gets flat right here, okay? And they were kept saying, cut my hair shorter on top so it gets high on top. Well, it doesn't. When you cut hair short on top, it flattens this, and this is where the volume comes from. So then it took them into another obsession called permanent waving in the 80s. Remember the 80s, all the permed hair? Mm -hmm. So then, of course, now we have to live through that thing. And then in the 90s, and then we got sick of that, so then in the 90s we got into hair color, and hair color was a big 90s thing. And now in the 21st century, people are starting to take a look at what's another way to do hair that's easier? But, there's, but really, actually this first decade we've gotten into straightening hair, and they're even using formaldehyde now. Nobody likes their curly hair and all their volume, so now they want it all flat and straight. <laughs> So there's that thing going on. And so I'm introducing my own new wave, which is healthy. And letting the hair be what it is. And, and making that your best look. Now, if you want to change your hair, that's fine. Just know that when you commit to being something you aren't, that you're setting yourself up for lots of maintenance and lots of expense. And so if you know that and you want to do that, that's great. And I'm introducing another way. Well, Beverly, I just washed my hair and I can't do a thing with it. You did? Earlier. Okay, so, what do you want, Pete? Well, I was going to let my hair grow long, but it's not really professional. So I would like to get it trimmed out, kind of look uh, a little professional. 
kind of between the Elvis Presley type of look, the James Dean look, the, um, not the flock of seagulls going out here and stuff, but um. But it's pretty close. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's pretty close meaning because they do, all had this yeah. pompadour on top. Pompadour, they all have right. hair. I do get that loft every now and then when I get a crosswind. You know, I, I do get some loft. But seriously. Well, yeah. see, you know what? Flock of Seagulls had it back here, too. Yes, they did. See, I see we need to cut this yes, off. Yes, I don't right? want that back there. Oh, okay. No. But I like it clean. Um, I like sideburns. And I like to really grease this back on the sides. And I like to play with this both sides. And okay. Good. That's then, your look. That's your personality. And then my eyebrows have to be trimmed. And then my armpit hairs. You have to do that yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All kidding aside, though, I this one image I pretty much kept um, with most of my life, and it was kind of like the Elvis type of look for you know, James Dean type. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. You have a personality. Yeah. And yeah. you want to stick with it. Sure. And so then you use gel to quaff it. Sure, I do. So you don't have to blow it dry, it just naturally no. falls in. My hair is pretty low maintenance, it really is. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. So what kind of products do you have that I can um, incorporate into my Well, life? what we're going to do first is we're, I'm going to massage you with appreciation. Okay. Um, this is a plant oil that is used to remove any buildups that you have, like from petroleum products. Mm -hmm. It'll deeply clean the hair and scalp. Okay. And it'll also, so that's what it will do first. It will move, remove those. If you do not have that, then it can now begin to go inside and recondition your hair. Do you rinse off right after this use? You shampoo. We'll so shampoo. then you be bringing the camera down to shower with me? No. Okay. No, I'm gonna, we'll shampoo you in the sink. Oh, right. Good, thank you. Okay. Um, so this is the only way to really condition your hair. It's the only product in the world because of its ingredients and that has a small enough molecular structure to penetrate the hair and scalp and that's jojoba oil and we use the finest jojoba oil we use jojoba gold wow and i, I love penetration by the way yeah it gets deep in there this is rid of all the well, skin cells and everything now is your hair um dry dry yes yeah do i so, flake no yeah no, i'm lucky about that yeah good um, so this would ultimately moisturize dry hair. Great. And it would do it in, and does it in, in, in my opinion, in a far superior way, way because we go, it goes all the way into your follicle. So what we're doing is nutrition. We're actually giving nutrition to the hair follicle. We're uh, embellishing it with a, this jojoba oil plus and other essential oils like rosemary and lavender and things to keep it clean and uh, lavender is a great relax and so it relaxes people so I'm going to be doing a massage on Mr. Peter and he's Fantastic. going to um, fall asleep yeah he'll relax he'll totally and, trust me and it won't, it won't be from boredom either <laughs> he'll totally trust me and so uh, this I have taken women with afro frizzy hair mm -hmm and put them on a diet of this where they put this in their hair every day and I didn't let them shampoo but every three weeks because they would rinse their hair. This was, there was an athlete that in my business, uh, a customer, and she was a rugby player and she was also a physical fitness trainer and she goes, Beverly, I have to wash my hair every day. I says, you're not. You're going to put this in your hair every day and you're going to rinse your hair and you can put a conditioner in it. And she transformed her hair from a fro mm -hmm. To long curly hair, kind of like this, yes, you know. Yes. Yeah. So that's a miracle. That's like, that's like, and that's because we're working from the inside out. And just like when I was telling you the story about the food and how I can see when people are too acidic mm -hmm. in their pH of their body and how their hair becomes. See, this is beauty from the inside out. It's see, and so that's why I believe products matter. Yes. So. Um, I should get away from eating the raw bacon and the raw steaks. <laughs> well, if they're grass-fed, they actually can be quite good for you. Yeah, okay. um, on a different topic real quick, what do you do for receding hair? Well, this is what's great about appreciation. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start with something much Oh, okay. So, um, a appreciation will get this... Well, it's more on this side right here than okay. that side. Well, 
It like, will feed the follicles to prevent it from falling out, and then massage is really essential for men. Okay. Because they men think so much, mm -hmm. and you know, they're, I mean, they're thinkers. Yes. Yes. And I say that men lose their hair be, mm, you smells know, great because too. of that. Okay. First, gotta break up your gel. Okay. God, it opened my um, sinus canal. You can smell it, huh? Yes. Good. I feel pretty already. <laughs> so, I have a little uh, massage, like you can have your girlfriend do for you. Oh, I need to and find one. Yes. Well, if you can do it to yourself too, but it's always nice when someone else does it. Did you hear that? You can do it to yourself. <laughs> And, and basically, to really stimulate growth, what we do is we uh, pinch the scalp and we turn it red. You know, like we squeeze it right in here and get the scalp to turn red. Oh, wow. After you've massaged this oil in. Yeah. This is what minoxidil does, or um, that is the in active ingredient in niopsin products. Uh, but if a man is really serious about... Um, growing their hair, it's they should really just go right for the minoxidil and because nioxin has a two diluted. And the natural way to grow hair would be this way because these the appreciation can go into the scalp. So you see how I'm kind of moving it into his scalp. And it's only like one to three pumps. It's not a lot. It's not about quantity, it's about discipline. Doing this every day for yourself. And it's really nice for couples to do this ritual with each other, like to do head, neck, and shoulder massage. It's just a really nice thing for couples to do for each other. So if you keep on doing this, my tongue's gonna be hanging out and I'm gonna be scratching. <laughs> okay, so I wanna show this again on camera. Okay. Is that, okay, I want you to bend your head forward. So basically you're pinching, you know, like you take your thumbs and you pinch in squares. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of pressure, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm flushing the follicle with blood because that's what minoxidil does. If you ever really studied those medicines, which I did, because in the 80s, uh, we had a, I had a client that actually was a tester for minoxidil, and he used it and grew his hair. Um, but it's about getting this red, flushing blood to the scalp. I used to tell guys, stand on your head. <laughs> That's easier. Well, I'll tell you what, I got chills and they're multiplying. <laughs> okay, John Travolta. Oh, so that's another hairdo, right? Oh, I do Grace. like that, yes. Yeah, yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> oh, God, you're funny. You were good to be here for my model today. Oh, well, thank you. I'm honored. All right, so pinching the scalp and doing that all over is good for men in, with well, thin hair. Now what I'm going to do is... I can drop down a little. Oh, would you? That yes, would be really I don't great. mind doing this. Yeah, would you slouch? I, I tell okay. people to slouch all the time. No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so I'm going to now do um, my head, neck, and shoulder massage for you. And okay. the, how I start first is I knead the scalp. And I use this palm, the soles of my palms. That's what the sole is right here. Mm -hmm. And you go underneath the hair. And this too will also flush blood into the scalp. Good so. It gives you a facelift. Mm -hmm. Everybody says, oh, my scalp lift. Mm. And what I want you to do, Pete, is take a deep breath and let blow it, let the arrow go. Close your eyes and relax. And what's wonderful for the person that's giving this is it actually lifts your breasts. That's why my breasts look pretty good. <laughs> because it lifts that muscle. Remember the joke, we must, we must, we must improve, improve the bust. It's better for tight similarities. <laughs> or the, and remember it was in the 70s, it was Mark Eden, bust developer. <laughs> you could buy that. <laughs> Well, I think you women are so lucky. You have that gravitational pull of the earth. So it's always going to be growing. Oh, is it? I don't know. 